We've been talking about how slippery the roads are out there, including in Hamden, we're hearing. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna joins us live from Hamden now with the latest on the conditions. Wow, look at that big mound of snow behind you, Roger. <laughs> yeah, Nicole, I guess this proves that they have been clearing a whole lot of snow from the ground here in Hamden. But yes, the cleanup needs to continue because, as you mentioned, a lot of these roads are still messy, particularly the secondary roads. I want to walk with you right now. This is actually Sherman Avenue right now. We're walking along. I can't say, though, it's a winter wonderland. You can see there's plenty of slush and snow still on the ground here in Hamden. And I can tell you, plow drivers that we have been talking with, and you'll hear from one in the next half an hour here in Hampton, basically tell me that they really need space to clear this out. So again, if you are driving today, certainly give them plenty of space. The main roads are in decent shape. In fact, you can actually see uh, Route 10 down there as well, and it's a little more clear. But again, the secondary roads are really problematic at this point. Now, that does not mean, of course, that DPW crews here in Hampton are not working very very hard in fact we checked in with them early this morning uh, we were at the dpw garage and they tell us that all 17 dpw crews and trucks are on the road so yes help really is on the way and it's funny i was talking with hamden dpw director craig caesar and he was pointing out that this kind of storm the one thing they have going for them is that fewer people are actually on the roads compared to more minor weather events but he pointed out, listen, we need time to clear the roads, and hopefully, even if people do have things that they want to accomplish today, your best bet is to at least wait till late in the morning. By the way, one thing that is helping out Hamden DPW and DOT crews in this town is that Hamden schools are fully remote for the second consecutive day. Reporting live in Hamden, I'm Roger Susanden, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.